Hello there, it's your boy, Tasty Cake. Okay, I was drowning on for 25 minutes, didn't move my mouse, and then I noticed that my little screen didn't move there, so it means the mouse <sighs> did not connect. Maybe it did, but I'm going to delete it anyway, cut down what I said. Delete video. Uh... I was raving on and on about how people are on Sunday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Which just continues onward of people the way they are. Daylight savings time. Daylight saving time. That, uh, too many people must say saving savings. It was a saving. Robin on Teen Titans Go says daylight saving. Which you're not saving anything. But... Honestly, anymore, I don't care. It is at the point of keep it one way or the other. If we're stuck in this losing the hour forever, because now in Britain they're doing, and Europe are doing the same thing, whatever. Give us that extra hour. You know, take away our extra hour, just like you take away our taxes money. Where is it going to be? I'm only I'm only minutes away from work. The reason why I'm still there, and because I have so much help, I'm gonna. Have, if I didn't receive the help I had, well, if I didn't receive the help I had over the past couple of years, I'd still be stuck there, and I wouldn't have any money in the bank. Because my insanity of all having all this stuff, which I do need to do something about. So leave it one time. I don't care anymore. One way or the other, leave it at one time. Today I slept, well, quite nicely. I I knew I didn't have to go anywhere. I knew I had to do some cleaning, everything else. So I just, yeah, I needed my sleep. Give me a second. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm going on vacation next week. My mom said I need to go over to Enterprise and find out because her sister-in-law, my aunt, said she got to the airport for flying and there was like a couple hour delay and she said well i have confirmation all these things and they said well you should have checked an hour you should have checked the day beforehand now, airports yes that's they change things all the time but again car rentals what if they don't have the car and then and i can't do it on sunday they're closed sunday i'm getting my car monday that's my birthday it's my birthday So I can't really, all I can do is, you know, they, they'll send information. Say, oh, your reservation's here. But that's right. It's on the way anyway. So I got to check them. And what am I going to bring to wear? Because I have clothes down there. I always have clothes. And it turns out the washing machine down there is broken. So now I know what to bring. She said bring three shirts. So that means at least three shirts. I think I pants. Okay, I know what to do. Which I'm gonna either do this afternoon, because I got I got five episodes of Flash to watch. I'll be on here. I got cleaning here. Because if it was a, my VCR is on the kind of the brink, the brink of this brink of destruction, edge of a broken heart. Uh, so I gotta do that. What was I talking about? I was talking about um, daylight savings time. So yesterday, these people are coming in early. Like three of them, they were coming home or going to work. So I know that's one thing. But at 7 o'clock in the morning, on a Sunday, like, what's wrong with you people? Go to Walmart. Go self checkout Because we get busy. They get busy at times. And I wasn't going to say a damn thing. I was going to go slower because... If they're that stupid to want to wait in line on a Sunday we're shopping, that's their problem. I don't need it. And then the rain poured and storms and Alexa kept saying it's going to rain from 10 a.m. to 2 a.m. 16 hours of rain. Thankfully it changed for the city because the storm went south it still rained 
here and there, but it was thunderstorms and prediction of rain next week for me. The holy yeah. Now I know I need to bring the big coat. I need to. Just in case. But it changed later in the day. Because how you supposed to predict, you know, meteorology is not a science. You trust more in a psychic than you can do a meteorologist. Trust more in a psychic than a meteorologist. All I'm saying is true. You can plan, but um, was it say um, plan for the worst, hope for the best, or hope for the best, plan for the worst? So as my hair falls out and I fall to pieces. Still got to march on. Uh, got to get ready. Got to plan a vacation ride. Have my list. What was I in front of me? So, guys, confirm if I see this person, which is one of those days, see if I can arrangements for Saturday for filming. If not, you know, I don't care anymore. At least I have my full uh, master's doctor outfit available. I do need to get a celery stick because I showed my fake celery does not work to be cut. And wow, the whole week is just more or less planned and gone. It's sad it goes by that fast. You still have to have some idea what you're going to do. And the idea of just going shopping when it's raining is this. Absolute stupidest thing I ever heard of. I mean, why? Why get everything wet? Why do you want to bring water into the store? Why do you want to bring wet umbrellas in the store? Why do you want to bring the freaking wet shopping cart back here? It for you. It's wet, dumbass. Why do people do stupid things around here? So I had to watch him, George Carlin, just to ease my mind, saying, you know, this is. This was in, in a, you know, so long ago, but it still rings true today. People are stupid. So it's not, an, it's not just a new thing coming up. If George was still around, he'd have everything now. See, if, if Common Sense was an app on your phone, they still wouldn't load it. It's free. No, I never use it. Ain't that the truth? You got free common sense and you don't know how to use it. So besides do a little bit of cleaning, packing my bag, doing a survey for McDonald's, I look because I got a shamrock shake was three dollars and forty nine cents for a small one. Small one. So they got a medium and a large. I'm afraid to know what the large would be. Three fifty for a small. Four ninety nine. Oh, that'd be seven ninety nine for a large. This is a large. And I joked a long time ago. Then the, it was for 7-Eleven. They joked all these restaurants and such. And they, they pull up the McDonald's cup. This is a large. Which the large became the medium. And then they made the the bigger cup. I always remember that. It was for 7-Eleven and commercial. That was hilarious. That's the only part I remember. This is a large. And go there and you get the big gulp. Then, they, of course, they made the super big gulp. And they made the double big gulp. And who needs that much soda? And this is a time of, oh, eat more bacon. Gluttony's on its way through. Ah. George Crown, brilliant man. I should talk like him some more. Say, moron. And when he says, don't say a thing, he says, you're welcome. So you push my sarcasm even further. So why are you talking like that? Because I can. Because you're an idiot that don't understand. How about them apples? But then I was trying to get the voice pattern down of speaking like the AI. Ask an AI how stupid people really are and it will show you. So I was trying to get the AI down. 
moron. You're welcome. All these things. Did I throw my paper away? I did. I thought I was done and then the microphone went off. Uh, can't put shopping cards and baskets back where they belong. Bring wet shopping cards in the store. You're welcome, morons. Uh, daylight saving time or DST and the morons that go shopping on Sunday morning. That was the title of the thing here. I was going to say, who will stop Lorraine? I think it did who. Here comes Lorraine again. It's a misunderstood song lyric. So silly. Are you open? No, I'm just standing here. Do you work here? No, I just like putting things on the shelf. I just like cleaning shelves because I know it was dirty. Like you, you filthy mongrel. Go take a shower. Grab a bar of soap before you leave and wash yourself in the rain. Wash yourself with Lorraine. Who? Oh. Barricades. I had to put a, I had to put shopping carts between registers and some, and even the more douchey they are, douchey, more of a fiduciary that they are, they'll move the shopping cart. I have a movable display. This is for uh, moon pies, and these a holes just move it out of the way. I say, it's there for a reason, stupid. It's there so you don't walk behind me. That's why I can't put anything in the cubby hole. I don't trust people. I keep all my stuff behind customer service. Like a drink. Say, I, I'll run the, I'll walk to customer service, which is like, I'm over here, and I'll walk that far. I'll walk 20, over 21 steps to get my drink. I don't care. When these idiots come in and say, you're getting your groceries wet, you get to your car, you step in giant puddles, which were out there, for God's sakes, you're all soaking wet. You get the water in your car. Your bags are full of water, too. You get home, and you're leaking water on the floor because you're stupid. I mean, yesterday, Alexa said it was going to be 16 hours of rain, for God's sakes. And I'm like, thank God it didn't happen that way. It did stop. It went south. Oh, thank goodness for that. Thank God. Thank the spirits. Thank the maker. I, I just got a plan for next week. So I can bring three shirts because I have shirts down there. Don't need to bring much clothes because I'm bringing stuff back up. At least definitely my two TARDISes that I put in storage. So at a time, I say, well, I don't need them. And then thinking, well, one of them is applicable. That wasn't the greatest thing I wanted, but it makes sense. And the other one was just story-centric. It's the first time I use that word. Story. I'm just going to have it painted properly to represent another whole season of season 18. I'm not sure it's going to be State of Decay. It's not really going to be part of uh, Legopolis because Legopolis and Castro Velva didn't have changes on the TARDIS. But season 18 in general, I'm taking the Caves of Androzani TARDIS, having it painted, definitely the base. Anything else, just to give it that whole different look enough slight different appearance to make it happen for season 18 so burgundy fourth doctor will have his tardis and i'll be content and happy with that and whenever they come out with the seventh doctor's tardis i will use the seventh doctor's tardis which came out for the ultimate adventure as i have custom third doctor another sixth doctor uh David Banks, Doctor, and the two human companions, which I was going for a Dalek, too. When someone made me some 3D parts for the Dalek, he made me a 3D parts for Davros's base, and I want to combine it with the actual piece from Davros's chair. It was too small. I didn't know. And so I don't have it painted yet either. I, I wanted to have me in the Davros chair, which I can still do. I'm still going to have it planned in a future story called Shadows of the Valley Art, which I ultimately, in this parallel universe story, spoilers, take care of things, only because it was in a Big Finish audio where 
the war master that took over as Davros, per se, and changed everything. It's like, okay. I like that idea because I have a few, I have a squad of Daleks that were customized that I like. I don't think I'd made, I think it was just when I bought them. So putting me as Davros in the story, meeting the Doctor of the Parallel Universe, which I won't get into that one. I won't go into details on that. That's a whole other spout of, what did you do that for? Well, it doesn't matter because people don't even say that for me. Even if it is, like, you know, it's called fan fiction. I'm not doing anything really, 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 weirdly whack about it. It's just I'm doing what I'm doing. Which leads me to the new story I'm planning. And I, you know, of my 29 subscribers, I would have thought I would have more people say something about what I had planned. But I put out the video saying, I need 10 doctors. Who wants to play the doctor? I'm going to write your into it. You know, you, you will say, how do you like your character? I'll do it this way. I'll, you know, how do you want, how is your doctor going to be? What does the doctor look like? And then I will, is there anything in particular you like? So, yeah, I'm stealing ideas. Saying, and because I'm just going to have it summarized of this is what uh, the doctor did. One major story idea in general summarizing 10 more doctors. But I had 113 views of me being silly than anyone responding to wanting to be the doctor in the story. I already assigned who I wanted to be in the story. I said I was going to be a third doctor. Then I said, you know what? You're going to be the last doctor. And you're going to be telling the other third doctor who was in it about what happened, what's going on here. And it's a summary of life because 13th doctor. So my character, my character, the Valyard, or however it's going to be in that particular point in time, no spoilers, is not going to get involved. It just, you know, that may be the turning point. It is, that's what, in the back of my mind, yeah. It's going to be the turning point of how the next story is going to be and how the remainder of the series, which is not that many left, I think it was two or three more stories after this one, what's going to come about ending the first timeline and going to the second timeline. But I already jumped in a third timeline. I haven't even finished writing the first timeline. So um, the idea there, my friend Mark Faber, I've already disappointed an actor because he portrayed the doctor in his own fan videos and did audios. I mean, he even unfriended me. Now he won't because he's... So I'm just going to find him again. Like, no, I didn't mean... I was, I, he's... I don't even hear from him anymore. He doesn't post anymore. He's just kind of like... I disappoint so many people. I'm just... The way things are, I'm just... I can't... Yeah, I'm trying to get this video done here. What am I doing? Playing Candy Crush Soda Saga. Because of what the last video just ended, and I'm I'm still wasting time. ADHD is not funny. Yes. Try to. Like Ricky said, you can't please everyone. I can't even please myself. Cut it down. Well, no. Do what you can. Try to be happy. It's very difficult, I know. Every day I struggle. I mean, ideas, I plan everything and doesn't come out unnecessarily. Still got a plan. Still can't give up. One positive thing I can go out of yesterday was 
there's an old man he comes in every day for lunch and dinner because it's cheap i mean the food is cheap it's not great but it's cheap and this is my manager told me and he comped him one time for a free lunch i can think why if he comes in every day at least comp him for lunch and so he just pay for dinner He came in when it was raining, because that's his normal routine, no matter what. And it got heavy, really heavy out there. And I, I made that move of, I'm going to go walk him out. I don't care. And I really didn't care at all. I, I, got, I grabbed the big golf umbrella. Oh, nuts. now you got to get a golf umbrella. There was just noise. And I walked into his vehicle. I mean, there were puddles, my God. Parking lot was slanted downward. Which I think someone told someone else, I can't remember which one, that, what are you going to read? You know, what's the word? We do the parking lot? You know, because I got home with a broken eggs. Like, no, you got broken eggs because you hit a pothole somewhere along the way. Don't blame us for. Our parking lot, things that happen in parking lot is not our responsibility, period. That shows the ignorance of people, as always. I grabbed that golf umbrella, put on my raincoat. Poof, it was raining. Nasty. I don't want to go yellow, I want to go orange. Can I do that? Can I do that? Can I do that? Can I? No, can't do that. No, I can't do that. I got into the vehicle. Because that was a humane thing to do. It's a nice old man. He was there doing his normal thing. But when that downpour came through, oh, hell no, he's going out with me. I'm going with him. When I came back, my pants were soaked. My shoes were nice. My shoes were actually decent. I did not experience any but missing the shoes. So I was happy with that. So it's not just to get away from stupid people. It was helping someone that needed it. So was the, like the only good thing that happened yesterday was me being concerned about another human being. That if anyone else could have helped him, gone out for themselves and got it for him, that would have been the best thing. But I was able to get away and do that for him. So it's the little things like that that are important in life. Not because they, oh, I did this. It's, it's knowing that you're supposed to. You're supposed to do little things like that to help people. Not to the ungrateful people? No, I will not. I cannot do that. That's the right thing. No. If they can't do the right thing, I'm going to treat them like the garbage they are and burn them in the incinerator. Because that's the way it is. Shovel. Then I had to put up some George Carlin in the office just to say, yes, things were like that all the time. No matter what, people are just incompetent boobs. Incompetent boobs can't think for themselves so if George was still around and say if common sense was a, an app on your phone they still wouldn't load it but it's free no I'll never use it they just can't think for themselves so it's going about the same time as the other video got some cleaning to do got some packing to do please like subscribe share Tell your friends, ring the bell. Just for my ego, I love to see more people as subscribers. Tell me ideas. Tell me if you want to be the doctor. You mean be part of something. Because I'm not going to scare you wrong. Say, oh, this person, this guy made me a Doctor Who character. It's awesome. Oh, I should went that way. It don't make a difference. Play the game again. It's all about playing the game. And with that, 
time waits and turns slowly. 